New at 6, the mother of Jahai McMath is speaking out and planning her daughter's funeral. The Oakland teenager was declared brain dead almost five years ago here in California. And as John Ramos reports, she's been at the center of a debate over the meaning of death ever since. For four and a half years, the family of Jahai McMath insisted she was alive when most of the world was saying she was gone. Eleven days ago, that fight ended, at least medically. Her heart stopped. Jahai was 13 years old when she was declared brain dead by doctors at Oakland Children's Hospital after an operation to remove her tonsils went bad. But her family put up a fight and eventually moved her to New Jersey, where she existed on a ventilator and, according to her mother, could move her feet and hands on request. My daughter showed me that what I knew from the start, she was always alive. And I really feel bad that she had to die. 2,558 miles away from all her family and friends who love her. Naila Winkfield says she is thankful to New Jersey for allowing her to contest the death declaration on religious grounds and even providing Medicare coverage for Jahai's care. And though she had to sell her home and is now broke, Naila says it was worth it to watch her daughter change over the years. She grew taller and her features started to change and she went into puberty and everything, and I know for sure dead people don't do that. But the family's attorney says the hospital wanted her declared dead because the liability is much lower than for someone who is still alive. They knew they would benefit if Jahai McMath died because then they don't have to pay for her medical care that she deserved. But now Alameda County is refusing to recognize New Jersey's death certificate. So the coroner has not issued a burial permit and the family does not even know if they will be able to bury Jahai on Friday as planned. In a grim irony, they are now fighting to prove Jahai is dead. She's embalmed. What are you looking for? I don't understand. Let her go in peace, in dignity. Jahai's family was often criticized for their struggle, but they say they're proud of their little girl, who may have changed what it even means to be alive. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Jahai's family is suing Oakland Children's Hospital, accusing it of wrongful death. In wrongful death cases, California limits the liability to $250,000. There's no such limit if the injured patient is still alive.